Um, good morning, everyone. My name is Angelo Frangopoulos, um, and I'm really delighted uh, to be here this morning to uh, welcome you to the International Sustainability Symposium. I'd like to begin by acknowledging the Gadigal people of the Eora Nation. Well, day one and day two of the World Resources Forum were about understanding the international resources situation. The background work uh, done by bodies, including WRF, CSIRO and UNIP, to develop an understanding around the consumption of resources, energy, materials and water. Today, the symposium is about how we're going to be resource efficient so that we can develop pathways towards sustainability in manufacturing. Green manufacturing and the World Resources Forum are perfectly aligned in this space. We want to look at the scientific challenges ahead the advances in science and technology, and also how these are applied to industry. The idea here is to explore new ideas, make scientific discoveries, and develop, very importantly, commercial benefits by encouraging industry and university collaborations, a very key recipe, ingredient in the recipe of success. One such example is the Green Manufacturing Hub, which is being funded through the ARC's Industrial Transformation Research Program and industry partners. Today, we're going to hear from speakers from Sweden, Japan, South Korea, India, and of course, Australia, to discuss green manufacturing and the future pathways. And really, uh, it, it really is such a great privilege to have an extraordinary lineup of, of speakers. Dr. Fiona Cameron will be speaking today. She's the Executive Director of the Australian Research Council. John Barbagello, the Chief Executive of REM Mining Consumables. Stephen Mazakis, the National Energy and Sustainability Manager for Brickworks. Dr. James Tickner, the Senior Research Scientist for uh, CSIRO Australia. And Johan Eriksson. Sweria Mephos AB, who will give us a perspective on the, uh, the Swedish experience. But first of all, what is green manufacturing? I know that green manufacturing is a great passion of Vina's, which is the reason I'm here today. She sort of strong-armed me over coffee one day in the city and said, you need to know all about green manufacturing. And about 45 minutes later, I was sold, totally sold. It's the process of transforming waste and end-of-life products into high-value materials. The concept of green manufacturing is all about adding value. And in partnership um, with industry, REM, One Steel and Brickworks, One Steel and UNSW have shown that the technology of recycling rubber tyres in steelmaking is successful, very importantly, on a commercial scale. And that really has huge benefits, both operationally and environmentally, for the steel manufacturing industry. And I think what we are here today is also to celebrate innovation and investment by commercial enterprise in the great challenges we have in unlocking the value that is within our, our products that are end of life. 